Hey, what's going on everyone? It is Camille Ico, and I hope that you are living the life that you love spiritually, mentally, physically, and financially. If you're catching this on live, go ahead and drop those ones for me. And if you're catching this on replay, go ahead and drop a two. So tonight is episode six of Protect Your Vibe. Y'all like my little background? Yeah, I got a little, little cover there. I'm a little fancy on tonight. <laughs> so um, I've had a great Sunday. Church was wonderful. We had a young lady um, give her life to Christ today. So praise the Lord for that. And um, was able to take my nieces and nephews to the park. So we had fun together. What'd you guys do on this wonderful Sunday? Let me know what's going on in your lives. What's happening? What's happening? So tonight we're going to be talking about make sure you spend time with yourself. If you want to make sure that you are protecting your vibe, you have to make sure that you carve out time specifically for you, okay? And I don't just mean like binge watching TV, right? And just doing mindless activity by yourself or sitting in a corner and being depressed by yourself because sometimes that's what happens, right? <laughs> we we get into a state of depression. We start thinking about all the negative things that are going on in our lives. And the next thing you know, we've talked ourselves in, into like having this pity party for ourselves. That's not what I'm talking about. You know, I'm talking about the time where you spend with yourself, where you come out rejuvenated, where you come out with better ideas, better problem solving skills. And so that's what we're going to be discussing together for just a few minutes. Hey, what's going on, everybody? So as you're coming in, drop a one if you're going to stay around and um, talk with me live and then drop a two if you're catching this on replay. Hey, Wilbur, what's going on? So, um, you know, I was actually, I was watching um, the Red Table Talks with, with Jada Pinkett. And she had the dog whisperer on her show. And I never knew this about him. But at one point in time, he was actually um, thinking about committing suicide. So if you don't really know a lot about his background, what I learned from watching the show about him was, was that he was from Mexico or is from Mexico. And, you know, when he was younger, he really didn't have a lot of positive influence in his life. And so he was actually... He, at 10 years old, he told his mom, like, hey, you know, I think I'm going to become a drug dealer. And his mom was like, you know, if you become a drug dealer, as soon as you do that, you're going to kill me. You know, and he's like, okay, well, I don't want to kill you. So, of course, he changed his mindset from wanting to be a drug dealer. But the thing was, was where he, in his surrounding, the only people that he had to look up to, the people who were influential, the people who were making money were drug dealers. So, of course, that's what he wanted to be because he wanted to be able to help his family and provide for his family. So anyway, skip forward, he begins to watch TV and he's looking at these, these dog shows, um, just kind of like your dog TV shows, your, your standard shows back in the day where you got this little kid and then they love the dog and they have all these tricks that they do with the dog. So he came back to his mom and he's like, you know what, mom, I want to be a dog trainer. And, and so from there, when he turned, it was like 17 or 18, he went back to his mother and was like, okay, I got to leave today. It was like the day before Christmas. And he was like, I got to leave. I got to go, you know, to the United States. I got to go to America because I've got to pursue my dream of um, training dogs, training animals. And, and so from there, he really started his journey. His dad gave him $100 and he was off and he was in the States and he had really found his place. You know, he, coming from a place where a, a kid who is not from the U.S., right, doesn't have any family, doesn't have any roots, but made it over here. He ends up becoming very successful at dog training. We know that he has gotten his show on TV, right? Hey, what's going on, Tiana? Right, and so we, we know that he has achieved and amassed all this success. Well, in the meantime, he ended up getting married, and then he got divorced, and in the process of that, he ended up going into a deep depression, and he wanted to kill himself, okay? And, and when he was talking, I, it just made me think, even like on yesterday, I was scrolling through my news feed and I saw like at least three posts where people were just like, I'm done with life. I see why people, you know, want to commit suicide or I see why they're in this place that they're at. And, you know, or I, I'm just not in a good mental space and, and just really like there, we got some mental issues that we have to deal with. And I think part of the problem is, is that when we're spending time with ourselves, it's not productive time with ourselves. 
It's the, the thing that I was talking about in the very beginning of when we spend time with ourselves, we allow our negative thoughts to overcome us and make us be in a bad place. And so that's not protecting our vibe. So what should we be doing when we're spending our time with ourselves, right? So let me connect this all together with, with the dog whisperer. What he said was, in the process of trying to live for everybody else, he lost himself. He lost his passion. He lost what he wanted to do. He stopped spending that quality time with himself because he was so busy trying to cater to everyone else that in the midst of issues and problems that were going on, he didn't really have any real solutions to solve those problems because he wasn't making sure that he spent time with himself. Like how can a person come to a different country, be very bad in the language, young, not know much, you only came here with $100, be able to pursue your dreams and, you know, be able to he said he wanted a TV show. In fact, he had gotten an interview because he'd become so well at training dogs in the neighborhood that he'd gotten an interview with the newspaper. He told the newspaper, they asked him what the next step was going to be. He said, my next step is I really want a TV show. And from there, he had networks calling him to get this TV show, right? So that was that time during when he was by himself, when he was focused on his passion, when he was focused on his, pers pur his purpose, right? When he was focused on dealing with him and finding his happiness and looking in and, and being able to pursue what it was that fulfilled him. Many of us need to spend time with ourselves because we need to understand what it is that fulfills us. We need to really get close to our source, God, right? And really understand why is it that you have me here? And so when we're going through this time and spending time by ourselves, what should we be doing? We should be praying. We, we can meditate, right? And, and really just a lot of times in silence is where the answers become the loudest. See, when you're in the, all the noise and the chaos of everybody's life and what's going on, you can't hear because you're so consumed with what everybody else's problem is. You know, there are some days that I wake up and it just seems like, it can be problem after problem. I can talk to one person, they got all these issues. And I call somebody else and they got these issues. And then this next person, you know, someone's always in the hospital or someone's dying or, or, and not that these aren't real issues, but if you aren't careful and the only thing that you do is surround yourself around people who are just giving off energy, down energy, or always in a down place, that is the energy that you begin to take on right? And so when you start your day, when you start your morning, you have to get yourself mentally prepared. Start with that meditation. Start with that prayer. Start with exercising. Start with your affirmations. This is what you're doing by yourself to protect your vibe because these people are going to come in and, and, and start telling you all of their negative things that are going on in their life. And if you are not careful, you will find yourself jumping into their negativity, taking on their energy, and then their negative life becoming your life. Because what you have done is now you've allowed their energy to be transferred to you, okay? And so now your thought pattern is like their thought pattern. How they would handle situations become like how you would handle situations because that is what you have allowed to take over mentally, okay? So the dog whisperer is to a point where he's like, you know what? I'm done. I feel like there's nothing that I can do. You know, he had really lost himself. And what he said was, I had to get back to a point of understanding who I was and loving myself. He said, and that is what pulled me out of a place of wanting to commit suicide. That is what pulled me out of a place of not wanting to give up on life anymore. See, some of us may not want to physically commit suicide, but mentally or spiritually, that you have already committed suicide in your life because you have decided there is nothing else that you can do. There is nothing more that you can do and that you don't have purpose in this life. And so you have decided that you are just going to settle. And so you're wondering why bad thing after bad thing after bad thing happens is because that's where you stopped your life. You stopped your life at that bad level. See, because what will happen is when you begin to press suit, now don't get me wrong, you're always going to have issues, you're always going to have problems in your life, but you have to learn how to work 
through those issues and work through those problems. And yes, sometimes you'll need to go and you'll need to get some counseling you'll, and you'll need to get some help. But you know, there's a lot of times where really you just need to spend that alone time. You need to get away. You need to get out in nature. You need to journal. You need to talk to God. And you need to make sure that you spend time by yourself because whether you're an introverted person, someone who likes to be by yourself and be alone anyway, or whether you're an extroverted person, you know, studies have actually found that regardless, spending time by yourself actually helps to rejuvenate you. It helps to energize you because you don't really understand how much you're taking on from other people all the time. You know, there was there's a gentleman that I know, he um he was working in this corporation for many years, right? And he had ended up having an ulcer. He was in and out of the hospital towards the end of his career, and as soon as he retired, guess what? All of the issues and all of the problems he had went away. Why? Because he no longer had that negative energy. He no longer had all of these people and all this negative stress pressing upon him. And he was able to spend some time alone. He was able to spend some time around people who were pouring into him to give him life, to be able to charge him up, right? So are you, so let me add on to the point of making sure that you're spending time by yourself and also making sure that you're spending around, spending time around people who are actually pouring into you and who aren't just taking away from you, okay? And this is if you want to protect your vibe, because we've talked about it, and I didn't mention it in the beginning of this one, but we know that in, in order to protect our vibe, or the reason why we even protect our vibe, is because our energy matters in how we go about achieving our goals, reaching our goals, moving forward, pushing beyond the adversities that we might face in our lives, right? So when you are spending time alone, do a vision board. And if you've already done a vision board, go back, make sure, you know, that you're envisioning it very deep in a very detailed way all the time. You know, sometimes you just need to sit in silence and not say anything. And that sometimes is the hardest. Maybe you need to do mental exercises. Maybe there are some people that you need to forgive. And one thing that you can actually do during this time by yourself to help begin to forgive people is close your eyes. And imagine there being a whiteboard, okay? And whoever it is that you need to forgive, begin to write their name on that whiteboard. So you've got a marker in your hand and you are writing their name on that whiteboard. And, and then after you have their name there, you see it, then what you can begin to do is pick up the eraser because you know there's a whiteboard and then there's typically a little metal piece or something down there at the bottom. Begin to erase their name and release them, release the anger, release the hurt, release the pain, and just erase it and make it go away. And even though the situation might still be there, guys, I'm telling you, most of the stuff that we deal with is mental. And if you learn how to fight these mental battles, we will be able to move so much more for further ahead in our lives. Another thing that you can do is you can, again, close your eyes. And these are mental exercises, right, that are going to help push you further along into forgiveness so that you can live your best life, so that you can protect your vibe. But when you're sitting there and, and, and you're closing your eyes and you're imagining a person that you might have issues with, what you're going to do is you're actually going to envision yourself sitting there with the person that you have problems with right there in front of you. And you're going to sit there and you're going to look them in the eye. Of course, this is all envisioning it, right? You're going to look them in the eye and you're going to sit there and you're going to look them in the eye as long as you can, right? Because this is helping you to face your giants. This is helping you to face people that maybe in real life you can't face yet. But by envisioning it, you can at least muster up the strength to go to the person and say, hey, this is the issue that I have and I need to resolve it if I'm really going to move forward in my life. Because we know that hatred and anger are only stumbling blocks to us in our life. And we must protect our vibe because if we are holding on to grudges, if we're holding on to hurt, if we're holding on to all of these things, then guess what we are also giving off? 
all of those things that we are trying to keep inside, but really we're not keeping it inside because it exudes. And you can fake the funk for a little bit, but guess what? At some point, it's going to come out and the real you is going to show. And the real you is the person that is within. Okay? So... The other things that you can do is plan, plan out your life. What what are you doing with your life? What are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing the next week, the next year, the next five years, the next 10 years, the next 40 years, right? These are some things that you can do to help to protect your energy in particularly because a lot of times people feel like I don't have a purpose. I don't know what's going on in my life. I don't have a plan. Nobody really cares about me right? You've got to care about you. When you spend time with yourself and you recharge, you are more available. You are more beneficial to the people who surround you. When you have spent time with yourself and you are recharged and you have loved yourself, right? Because just like I was saying with the dog whisper, it was only until he got back to the place where he could love himself and he found his passion again, that he was able to restart his life, that he was able to begin anew, all right? So the the things uh, and benefits of really spending time with yourself, just to kind of sum it up, is one, you're going to show up better for other people, right? You're going to have a sharpened mind because when you're not just binging on TV, but you're actually, you know, reading a book, you're sharpening your skills, you're going to end up being smarter, Okay. The other thing is you can improve your health because if you spend time by yourself and you go to the spa and you get a massage or, you know, something relaxing, you can go and exercise. All of these things will help you to improve your health. Stop feeling like you've always got to be around people in order to, to have life because that is, that is one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of people have made is by feeling like you have to have validation from outside people. <laughs> and, and the reason why that is a mistake is because if something happens to those outside people, you have nothing. You have absolutely nothing to go off of because those people have failed you. They have left you. And now you feel like you are all alone, but not all alone purposely, all alone because you feel like you've been abandoned. So you have to take control of your time. You have to take control of your energy. And this is one of the ways to do that, okay? Now, also, making sure that you're spending time by yourself is gonna help you to solve problems and, and optimize the options that you have for yourself because your mind is going to be clear, right? We're not listening to five, 10, 15 people give us all of this different advice that is all different and you end up more confused than what you were in the very beginning. So when God gives you something, when you hear something clearly, completely within like as we talked about yesterday just listening to your instinct what is that intuition telling you on the inside is that's when it becomes clear really when you are by yourself but you don't know what voice is what when you're always around people you just you got to be in the mix of everything all the time no just sometimes sit home and do nothing but read get in touch with you and who you are and what it is that God has called you to do and just listen, listen, read a book, exercise, right? So, you know, also spending time with yourself is going to, and I have my little notes here if you guys are wondering what I'm looking at, you know, it's going to help create more creative moments where it's like, you know what? I never would have thought about that because I was always around these people who always think in a box. Even today I was talking to my niece and, and she was talking about something, <laughs> but the bottom line was, and she got tired of saying of me saying what I was saying. And she was like, where's your creativity? You, you know, like, why don't you just think differently for a second? And sometimes that's what happens is that we get so stuck in our own ways and our own thinking. And maybe this is because of the outside influences of everybody else that we lose our creativity. Whereas obviously she has been in this place of creativity and had all these ideas. And I'm just thinking like, no. No, no. <laughs> she was just like, be creative. Think differently, right? And that's what we have to do. You know, we can get more creative. We can have these aha moments when we take the time to spend time by ourselves. Even Jesus, right, spent time by himself. He went away. 
you know, in the midst of all of the chaos, all of the people pulling on him, teaching, you know, the disciples and, and the crowds that were around Jesus said, you know what, I got to go and talk to my father. Like, I got to go away to pray. I got to go away to meditate. Why? Because that recharged him. Why? Because he could hear the voice of the Lord clear. Why? Because he can hear himself think clear. Why? Because he could come up with a plan and strategize that was actually going to work and not be confused. And, and then because a confused mind does nothing. And that's why a lot of us have done nothing because we are so confused and we won't take the time to be quiet, to be still and to be silent. All right. And when you are taking that time to be calm, to be still, and to be silent, you also end up in a happier, calmer place, right? So one, one more thing from the Red Table Talk and listening to the dog whisper speak. It was funny because uh, Jada's mom was saying, hey, you know, I got this dog and it just got some anxiety issues and pretty much trying to blame the dog and essentially what Cesar was saying was like when your dogs are acting crazy typically you know if they've been trained properly and sometimes even when they haven't been trained properly the dog is actually picking up on the energy of the human right and, and so the dog is acting the way that it's acting because some energy that you are giving off and she was like, wow, I never thought about it like that. He's like, yeah, you know, most most dogs, they are just feeding off of the, the human's energy. So this is what came to my mind is that most of us don't even recognize the type of energy that it is that we are giving off. We don't even recognize the energy that we are giving off because we are not in tune with ourselves. So we must take the time to get in tune with ourselves so that we can even recognize what it is that we give to other people. You know, while we think that we're positive, some of us are really negative. You know, it's like, well, you know what? Thank God for this. But then in the same, the same breath, now you're complaining about 10 other things. And it's like, there's an imbalance here. And, and really the imbalance is the negativity is outweighing the positivity. And so we have to be careful about what we are giving off, the energy that we are allowing others to receive from us. We have to be in tune with who we are. We have to know who we are. And this is only truly found out when you spend that time with yourself and you really begin to know yourself. So guys, it's okay to spend time with yourself it's okay to be alone and you don't have to just be an introvert in order to experience that time alone, okay? So um, that's that, that's my time. Protect your vibe, make sure you spend some time with yourself every day, even if it's 10, 15, 20 minutes, carve some time out to just be by yourself. Hear the voice of the Lord, read, pray, meditate, exercise, whatever it is. But make sure you spend that time with yourself because when you do that, not only are you going to benefit, but the people around you are going to benefit. And it's going to be a happier place for each and every one of us. So guys, my name is Camille Iko, and I hope that you are living the life that you love spiritually, mentally, physically, and financially. Good night.